So in the last episode, we have decided to create this test, which is for buying of beverage by logged in user. So it's like we need a logged in user. That's good. Then we need to post uh, uh, data for buying. Uh, that's again good. Then the assertion we need to assert in database that database has that same value which we have posted so this ensure that it is saved on the after purchasing okay then uh, let's just get the status and yes i am skipping that uh, payment part because it itself is a whole thing so we just want to see how the flow work so first thing first logged in user so user let's use a factory and user and that has to be app user and class let's make one for me then we need to post it but before posting let's just use this user as a logged in user so acting as and the user that's good and now we need to post it so it's like firstly get the response and is equal to dollar this arrow post and how we are going to post it so now it's like slash beverage slash buy this is the url i want to create and if you don't know what you need to pass inside this parenthesis of this post let's just go and click here to see what actually it receiving so first thing it receives the uri uh, exactly the route then the data you need to pass and if you want you can pass the headers also so this is the way we post something in the testing field so this is good but we need to post a data and what we are going to post we are going to post beverage id uh, okay that has to be uh, we know we have beverage so beverage arrow id that means this arrow beverage okay so we have this arrow beverage arrow id then we must have some kind of price for that so let's say 200 uh, whatever will be, will be the currency dollar euro rupees <laughs> whatever it is so this data we are passing and then we want to assert it's like this arrow database has and we want some data so why not do one thing because we are passing this so let's just cut it from here and call it data and let's just define that data here like this and now we are going to assert that the same data we want to have inside our database then it's a simple thing that response assert status of 201 that means created so this is the workflow but you know we don't have all these things so let's just run this test and see what we need to do next so it says method not allow exception hmm it says you don't have this route actually so let's go to web.php file and let's create another route for the post and beverage slash buy and now it's not a beverage controller let's say purchase controller and this has to be at buy so if i now run the test let's see the result this time it's saying you don't have purchase controller so let's create that so purchase controller and php addison make controller purchase controller good to go so let's go to purchase controller but before that let's run the tests to get what the next step we need to do next is buy method is not there so let's create a function name buy and let's run the test again okay this time it's saying all these things are good but assert data one uh, so actually this error is saying that you have some problem here so let's just see what this assert database want in in its parenthesis or as a parameter so let's go here 
Hmm. First thing first, it needs the table on which table you want to see. Then you need to pass the data. So it's like we have not given here the table name. And let's say the table name has to be purchase and table name has to be plural. So that should be purchases. So run the test once more and another error which says no table purchases. Hmm, super cool thing. This means now we need to create a model. So make model and model name is purchase. And obviously we want migration, we want factory for this purchase model. So let's click here. It is created and first thing we need to go to database migration and here on this purchase as we decided we need uh, beverage ID so unsigned integer and that has to be beverage underscore ID similarly uh, we need another one and that can be price so it's just an integer integer okay so this is good and let's now go to factory um, purchase factory here we need to say beverage underscore ID is let's say faker arrow digit so digit random digit it's a single uh, digit single digit means one to nine so beverage id can be that and price for the price let's say faker uh, number between and number between 100 to 200 uh, cheap one <laughs> okay so this is good and let's run the test and see what it's saying it's saying table is empty you are not doing anything that means it's saying that i want to have something uh, actually this thing on the database or or on this purchases table but you don't have that hmm this means now we need to go to purchase controller and we need to save that so let's uh, say purchase and create uh, not created create and in create function let's pass everything we get so and that should be we need to firstly get request and request has to be eliminate http request request and let's pass request arrow all this is good and as soon as this is complete rest let's just return redirect with status code of 201 hmm everything is good run the test and some error it says first thing mass assignment problem so mass assignment we know we need to give either fillable or guarded so i will stick with guarded protected uh, guarded is no not going to guard anything so let's just run the test once more and this time it says uh, redirect could not convert to a string the problem here i think i have used redirect <laughs> i didn't have to use response response not redirect let me things okay so it passes but you know we have decided this only can happen if the user is logged in this means let's create constructor so it's like i will create a function and construct and here i will say it, this arrow middleware and middleware name is simple one which is auth and this time if we, if we refresh everything is good so what if i commit this out this means user is not logged in it says we have some problem of unauthenticated super things so what if i don't save these things run the test and now it says again authenticate okay <laughs> yes we need to authenticate it and run the test and this time it says yeah same thing table is empty so let's just refactor something and let's uncomment this so we know we have this user which is logged in so you can see this logging of user is used in many places so you have this test case which is going to extend so if you go to this tests folder you can see we have this test case which is actually extending so let's open in here i will create a function and 
I will call it authenticate and here I will paste it so let's just import this at the top and now what I need to do on this test I will just going to say dollar this arrow authenticate and as soon as I do this everything is going to work and test passes so let's just run all the tests and yes three test six assertions good to go super cool thing and in that way you can start testing things and these these things are good so if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to hit the bell icon share these video with your developer friends like with films on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye